So we're going to take a look at how to make a drop-down box that causes the contents of a second drop-down box to change using Excel. The first thing that we need to do is determine what we're making our boxes with. Uh, we're going to use the example of cars, make these a little bit bigger, and we'll just make a couple of headers here to make it easy to find where we're working. Change the background color. Our first, our first column will be make, our second column will be model keep it real simple. Uh, all right, so C4 is where we're going to put our first drop down box that's going to be for the make of the car. Before we do that we need to make a list that's where we're going to get our contents of the drop down box. So we will say we'll do Dodge, Honda, and Subaru. Now each of these categories will have its own list of models. In order to populate that drop down box we'll make three more lists each with lists of a model from a particular manufacturer. So, uh, for Dodge, we'll say Neon, Neon SXT, and Intrepid. And for Honda, we will say Civic, Accord, and Cross Tour. And for Subaru, we'll say Impreza, Outback, and Forester. Okay. So we have our three lists, now we need to name them. In order to do this, highlight the area that you want to name, and then click on Insert, move down to Name, and Define. We don't want to call this Dodge, we want to call this Make. You'll see that it automatically populates the Refer To section. If you haven't selected an area, you can change this now. Uh, since we've already selected it, you can simply click OK. Now we need to name this list Dodge because it's going to be directly related to the Dodge option in our first dropdown. So again, we'll go down to Name, click Define, name it Dodge. It's important that these match exactly the options in your first list. So of course our second option list will be Honda. And our third list will be Subaru. Now, we'll click in cell C4, and then click data either up in the very top or data here. And we're looking for validate, data validation, or again up here we can click data and go down and click validation. Change the type to list, and then source. It's very important that you enter an equal sign, and then type make. This tells Excel that you want to use the list you've predefined and you've named make which is Dodge Honda Subaru. So we'll click OK. Now we have a list that drops down. We can choose Dodge Honda or Subaru. Now the next section is Model. We're going to tell Excel to use whatever list is in the Make field. So we'll highlight D4 under Model. And again, we'll click Validate, Data Validation. We'll change it to List. Now this time, you'd think that you should be able to enter equals and then simply C4. Well, watch what happens when we do that. We change our drop down, Dodge. The only option we have is Dodge. Why isn't it using the list that we've referred to from C4? Because Excel thinks that we want whatever the value is in C4. There's a way that Excel allows us to work around this, though. It's a function called indirect. So we'll get rid of C4, we'll enter indirect, and then in parentheses, enter. C4 again and click OK. Now, when Dodge is highlighted in the first column, the list named Dodge appears in the second column, right on down the line. 